ECT or electroconvulsive therapy is a modality of treatment that is probably the oldest treatment we have for depression, but it's also the most effective modality for treatment-resistant depression. This is the uh, severe cases of depression that does not respond to medications or psychotherapy or other modalities of treatment. It's a treatment that's been portrayed in the media with lots of drama and some kind of fear that goes along with it. But I can tell you, modern day ECT has been practiced with general anesthesia, muscle relaxant, supplemental oxygen, monitoring for 50 or 60 years in the U.S. It's currently a very safe and very well tolerated procedure. We usually use ECT in cases of severe depression, like catatonia or psychotic depression. We also use it for uh, uh, depression cases that are part of a bipolar spectrum, so bipolar depression. We also use it in severe cases of schizophrenia that is re resistant to treatment. And uh, sometimes we use it for patients who are severely suicidal. Um, the procedure itself requires general anesthesia. Uh, when we do the treatment, we start an intravenous line and we give medications through the IV. A patient will fall asleep and then we use the medication to block convulsive activity. And once they're asleep and their muscles are paralyzed, we apply a small stimulus and that triggers a short seizure, usually around 30 seconds. Most patients need around 10 to 12 treatments. Uh, most patients don't report improvement immediately. They might need one, two, or sometimes three treatments to get to start noticing some improvement. Uh, usually the caregivers, family members, people around the patients notice improvement before the patient themselves. In my experience, the more severe the symptoms of the patient, the more benefit they see with ECT. The cases where we have severe catatonia or psychotic depression respond tremendously. Uh, mild cases of depression usually do not respond to ECT and it's usually not a recommended treatment for that uh, level of disease. Also, uh, depression related to alcohol or substance-induced depression do not respond to ECT. Most of the side effects are nuisances, uh, headache, upset stomach, sore muscles, and usually we can control those with medications that we give at the time of treatment. Historically, the major side effect that's been concerned for people is memory loss. Most patients who have had ECT report some difficulty remembering things. This is usually around the time of the ECT, and uh, it's usually considered, most patients consider this a, an easy trade-off to help them get back to their previous life and regain their functioning.